is the Wayne Ayers Podcast. The Wayne Ayers Podcast. Woohoo! Time to wake your ass up for a blessed day. How's your day going? It's going good. Kind of a slow morning, but I'm I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, you're going to be on this new show called The English Teacher. Uh, for those who don't know, can you kind of explain like what's it about? Yeah, so <laughs> English Teacher is about basically a gay English teacher in a conservative suburb in Austin, Texas. And so he kind of just has these like weird little kids jumping around saying strange things to him all day, really ignorant things to him all day. And he's just kind of navigating like how he could be the best teacher, but also like how he's like, it's just highlighting how, how ignorant some of these kids are in that kind of part of the world, just because the education system isn't the best. And you'll see it touches a lot about the education system as well. No. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like all little kids be bad though. Like in the school, I was, I was <laughs> definitely, I used to give my teachers hell sometimes. So, Oh my gosh. I was like the worst teenager. Like come a long way. Come on. Yeah. I used to prank my teachers just in assignments and everything. Like one time uh, I prank, I uh, posted my uh, teacher's like wedding photos at the end of a PowerPoint. Just cause we were just pranking them. Yeah. It was just, <laughs> what's wrong with teenagers i like look back and i would never go to school i would ditch i wouldn't pay attention i i remember one of my teachers failed me and i was just like how did you fail me like i just played games on the computer like the whole entire time and i was just distraught that this guy failed me and it's like yeah he probably he probably had the right to fail me at the end of the day you said this school pardon you said this school um, no, the school I went to when I was a teenager. Oh, okay. That was a... Yeah, I was I was kind of a nightmare. Oh, no, yeah. I feel everybody is. I feel like every little kid is. Even if they know better, they just, every teenager just creates hell. I feel like yeah. it's like the rebel, rebel phase of our life. I know it is. Unless there's some kids that, like my brother Brody, he's the youngest of us three. And he is just the chillest teenager. Straight A's goes to baseball every day, isn't a party animal, and he's just as, like, so mature. I'm like, what happened to your hormones? How come they're so stable? My hormones were like, ah! it was all over the place. <laughs> no, I respect that. I respect that. Um, yeah. Can you tell us about, like, your character, Becca? Like, how, like, who, like, how is she in the show? Um, Becca is a <laughs> just dumb girl. It was a dumb, dumb girl. <laughs> not a sharp person not necessarily a mean girl she just doesn't really know better like she says things and she doesn't even know that some of the things she says could potentially cause harm towards other people <laughs> she's just very ignorant and like very like not knowing on the times not knowing on how like words have changed and just kind of says what doesn't think things through that's another one that she definitely is just not someone that thinks these terms. If you could, like, if Becca reminds you, like, a, a different character from another show, what character would that be from, like, a show that you watched previously? Hmm. It's almost giving, like, Kat from Victorious, but, like, <laughs> elevated, more adult humor. Um, She's just really stupid. Like... <laughs> She's just not smart. <laughs> <laughs> How was like work with uh, Brian Jordan Alvarez? Because I he know is <laughs> epic. I love him. He's like he's such a hard worker. From day one, he's directing, he's writing, he's acting in it, and he has all this dialogue every single day. He's organizing, he's improving, and his brain is just why his brain is just excellent. Like he is so smart and he works so hard. And that is one thing I have the absolute respect for him because he, he just, um, he created a great show. I'm already reading a lot of things on time. And I knew as soon as I read the script, I'm like, this is going to be a really, really good show. And it's going to be one that people remember. And he put his whole entire heart into it. 
and he is funny and he's nice to everyone on top of all the work. Just a really great person to be around. I, I loved every moment with Brian. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Brian. I always call him by his character name every once in a while. Because <laughs> Evan and Brian sound so similar. <laughs> I feel like this show has like a lot of funny like cast members. Who's like the funniest cast member on set? Gosh, everybody was funny. You know who is really funny is this recurring character that is in my book club. Her name's Scarlett. She plays kind of like a nerdy girl, um, like woke, nerdy, like know-it-all girl. And everything that comes out of her mouth is just so funny like comedy like on and off set and out of the series regs I would probably say oh geez they're all so funny I don't even want to point names but Stephanie brought it like her physical humor and her improv it was just so fun to watch her she's extremely talented um but yeah I I think Everybody was funny. Every single person gave on set. So I really don't want to point fingers, but those two definitely like stuck out to me. Okay, so uh, let's do this. What was like the funniest moment on set? Was there like a moment that you struck down like, damn, this shit, it was like everybody was just laughing? There's lots of funny moments on set. It's just 24 seven, like we'd be in holding and just picture like eight like kids like me. I'm not a kid, I'm 25, but obviously we're playing kids. Um, eight kids completely different from each other and it was like breakfast club like literally none of us have anything in common but we all ended up being the best friends and just spitballing just all day long we would burn so much energy because it was just constant fun and I remember there was this extra on the pilot his name is Pablo you'll see him on the show and Pablo ate in the pilot like just had the funniest energy he was kind of like kind of like you can't really understand what he's saying or like he's kind of elusive and he's just a funny dude and they actually pulled Pablo from the pilot and made him a recurring on the show and nice. yeah and he is just so funny because he just plays himself and he just says the most outrageous things like just does the funniest things and it was he's so unassuming like i the whole entire time i was on set i kept calling him paulo and he's like my name is pablo by the end i'm like why didn't you tell me this from day one like i've been calling you pablo the whole entire time or paulo the entire time i don't know there was just so many funny things on set that we were laughing about and it's a comedy so we're just always laughing i can't even really pick one Do you guys uh, get like get to put input into your characters? I know like some actors are like, okay, this is my baby. I kind of want to have this input or I want them to say this line here or such and such. Do you guys do input or is it just? Yeah, we have complete control over our characters. Like, in fact, we would probably do one take where we just completely improv everything. And those were always the funniest takes because people would just go wild and say the wildest things. I mean, even my friend Scarlett, she kind of like when she first went on the pilot, um, they kind of had her up in a different kind of look, character look. Um, and then they found out she was actually lesbian. And so they made her character like more play towards a lesbian character. And it, they very much took our personalities and like embedded them into our characters. Like I was talking to Jonathan Crystal, who's the producer. I was eating lunch with him and he's like, this is funny he's he's joking but it's still funny I'm like you guys are so smart you guys brains think so fast my brains my brain does not think this fast and she goes that's why we chose you as this character <laughs> I'm like oh he realizes how slow I am <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's a good one. <laughs> oh shit I was, I was about to just ask <laughs> I was going to know oh, if you could do a crossover episode with another show what show would you want to do a crossover with Abba Elementary 
I was thinking that too. That would be interesting. I was thinking that. I know, I'm like, it'd be kind of cute to do like, oh, the elementary schoolers grow up and then they go to this school and <laughs> kind of just all ties in together. Oh, I was thinking about like, okay, they get like another teacher from Abbott Elementary to come help out with your school too. That would be kind That of could work too. Yeah, honestly. Oh, that would be smart. I got to run that by them. Yeah, I think that would be kind of cool to do like a little crossover. Hey, they come over. <laughs> That'd be really cute. And then, yeah, no, that would be interesting. I want to see how the students would react to that. Because it seems like from the trailer that all the students just be wilding. They're wilding. It's insane. But it's not too, actually, it might be. It is, like, very, it's just so funny. But it just does show how insane kids are. And also the, like, faculty is insane. Like, Carmen played a school counselor who is just off the walls, just like, how did you get this job? Like, he's says the most random like stuff and you're like and half of it's improv and that's something that people don't understand is like even through the trailer they put in so much lines that are just improv like there's the script and then there's like you know do whatever you want and there was just so much talent when it came to improv and that's what really I mean the script was funny in itself but having an improv really made for a lot of natural raw moments. And um, I feel like I'm getting off topic here. Sorry, but uh, just a lot of like natural real moments and really funny moments. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like to hear that. It seems like there's like a character or something for everybody in this show. There is, there definitely is. There's all sorts of um, people and it hits on all sorts of different topics. And they also have a lot of stuff about the parents of the kids, which obviously is a big part of, school life faculty members um they even have a drag queen actually i don't know how much i can say i'm gonna, I'm gonna zip my mouth now <laughs> well this is gonna release the same day as the show comes out so. oh it is okay yeah. well <laughs> drag queen i don't know if i can say it i don't know if it's gonna be episode one but it's not episode one so <laughs> okay I oh you wish no, <laughs> i was gonna let you know that i don't know if it's gonna be episode one, no, but... it's not episode one. okay cool gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, so what's like what's your favorite episode like in the series i know you're gonna say that but like, what's one that really like stands out to you there is an episode where me and tiffany who's played by the Aaliyah's interlude i don't know if you know who she is she sings the i t g i r l oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, we play besties in the show and we go on a field trip. And I think the really fun part about the field trip was we got to do like a ropes course and we got to do a scene from a ropes course. <laughs> and it was just really fun to just like be kind of like physical, like the physical comedy of like acting and like going through the ropes course, especially in the circumstances of the show. It was just a really fun and we're out in nature and there was a campfire and it was just like one of those episodes where you're like, I really like being on set. I feel like I'm at summer camp. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, let's say the show gets renewed for season two. What is like something you really want to do in season two that you didn't get to do in season one? I want to be pregnant. I want to be pregnant. I want to be like teenage pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think it would be fun. I don't know. I feel like there's like, you'll see my character and you'll understand like she's just so like random. She just says random things. A lot of weird circumstances happen to her. And I think it'd be funny to, you know, have my character kind of have like a teen pregnancy moment. Okay, that's interesting. That's I wasn't expecting that, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know. It's something that I, I was thinking, I'm like, that would be really funny. I just you might have to carry that thing on all all day though during set. I know, but like, gotta push myself, you know. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> if you Wait, have wow. like, <laughs> if you have another actor or actress join the show, which actor or actress would you want to join the show? Hmm. That's a really good question. Definitely a comedian. You know who is an Abbott Elementary that killed it? His I don't know even know if he's an actor. He's a comedian. His name's Casey Frey. And he is this 
TikTok because they use a lot of internet personalities on the show. And Casey Frey's internet personality is so wild, like kind of matches the tone of our show. It's just wild and random and crazy energy. And I think he would have been a great because he did show up on Abbott for one season. So I don't know if that's just a copycat move, but he's just so funny. And I think Brian and him are actually friends. Okay. Shout out to Casey getting a shout out. Maybe they get yeah. you. To do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm Brian, give him a call. <laughs> oh, you worked in so many projects already. Like, how does this one differ from the other ones? Um, this is my first, like, I would say biggest role where I have six episodes and I'm um, you know, just more in the mix. Um, this one was it's just so fun because we're improving the whole time. And I personally love comedy. I've always been kind of good at comedy. And the other roles were really, really fun, but they were all much more serious. I mean, Family Plan with Mark Wahlberg, I did comedy, which I love. And, um, you know, I've, I've kind of got the ditzy blonde thing rolling. Like, it's kind of easy for me now. And um, I just think this was probably my favorite project I've worked on because we all just became so close, like me and my castmates. And um, they all, we all just became family by the end of it. And it was just comedy central. My abs would hurt every single day going home. And I would just get so excited to go to set just to even just mess around and be funny together, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. I want to okay. know if you could do a comedy or rom-com with any other actor and what would it be, and what would you got, what would you want to personally do in that film? If you had to do like a, a rom-com or a comedy? Oh, you could do both. Let's say both. <laughs> well, I'd want to do a comedy with Will Ferrell. Ooh. I actually pinned for that um, new Reese Witherspoon Will Ferrell movie coming out called You're Cordially Invited. And I'm like, who? Oh, Oh boy, I was so excited. I'm like, if I get to work with Will Ferrell, my idol, I mean, I grew up on that crap. My dad, Zoolander and Anchorman, that was just like my, my thing. Um, if I'm doing a rom-com, that's interesting. I don't want to get in trouble. I'd want to do a rom-com with my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't have to even be the star of it. You could just be like in the movie. Okay, I... <laughs> I would love to be in the movie, and whoever they pick, I'd be happy to be their cast member. But I'm not like, ooh, which boy do I want to scout out to like? I could be a girl too. It could be a girl. You know, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of being an actress, boy or girl. <laughs> uh, what do you find like the most rewarding thing about acting? That seems fun. Uh, the most rewarding thing about acting. I think it's just to be creative and like work and be creative at the same time. It is such a blessing. I, I thank God every single day to do what I do because my mind is so creative and it's just not that organized. And I just think that any other job I would do, I would probably hate it. And I just feel like acting makes my life feel so fulfilling because I'm doing what I love and I'm doing things that work my brain, like workshop my brain. And it just challenges me to, to just be better at it every day. You know, every role I get, I learn more experience and I get better. And every audition I get, my brain gets stronger with memorization. And I pick up on things about myself that I can incorporate into auditions. And I just love, I love it. It just makes me so happy. Nice. I feel like a lot, I see like a lot of people our age, like kind of like get into like writing, producing already. Yeah. Like, would you ever get into that? Yeah, I actually do write. I've just been, so I wrote two pilots already and I'm planning on um, sending them off and trying to get any traction on them, but I still haven't had a chance yet because I just graduated college and then immediately went to English teacher and I've had a lot of work that I haven't really had much time to actually just divulge into my scripts, which I'm very thankful for. But at some point, I definitely want to get them made. And, you know, 
sent off to people to get them get them made. How is your process of like writing? Like, how do you start? Like, do you just like, okay, like I'm influenced by this or you just like scratch from scratch. You just get an idea. Like, how is your process of writing? My process is interesting. Every time I've got an idea for a script, I do this thing where I'll listen to music and then in my head, I like create this like story around the music. And the first script I wrote actually was like, I love Sublime. It's a really random band that I love. And I wrote the my first script kind of like incorporated around Sublime music. Um, kind of like the Who movie. What's the Who movie? I completely forgot what it's called. You know, the movie with all the music from the Who? Or like Mamma Mia, that's all ABBA. Like that would be kind of like my script. I would just use Sublime music. Um, and I just kind of, I just kind of think these things in my head and, and then I just put it down on paper and I just go from there. But music actually is where it starts, which is really random. I don't know. Other people do that. I bet a lot of people do. No, I feel like a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that even works for them vice versa. Like I feel like musicians look at movies and shows sometimes and be like, oh, I want to make a song about this. You write as well? No. Okay, no. <laughs> I mean, that's not something that you're ever interested in. I might do it. I have a lot of friends that write. Like everybody, yeah. everybody reminds me right. So I might get into it one day. But I was always interested in that. Aw, that's I might be interested in making like a little anime show here or there in the future. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? I mean, <laughs> you live in LA. Yeah. Chances are you'll probably have some weird thing come up where you have to write or do something. Yeah, it's very possible. I can see me doing that. But mm -hmm. no, as of right now, no, I don't write. <laughs> well, you're doing great podcasting. Thank you. So. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, yeah. Okay, I got some fun questions for you. It's yeah. like no, nothing related. Okay, okay. First one is, uh, what's your favorite way to unwind after a long day on set? I'm, I just like to sleep. I feel you. I wish I wish I could be like, I usually, okay, but I'm usually full after set. Because I was going to say, I usually eat a big dinner and then just pass out, but usually I just eat so big on set that I don't even have dinner. I need a lot of sleep. I wish I could say I did something cute, but I just pass out. <laughs> no, I feel it. I, I, sleep is the best way. It is. <laughs> if you could travel anywhere in the world, where, where do you want to go and why? The place I want to go right now the most, which is very doable, and I feel like I should just do it already because I've been saying it for years, is Mallorca, Spain. Um, and I want to go because they have over the water rock climbing, which is like you climb up this like cliff and if you fall, you fall into the ocean. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Wait, it's is cool. it like, wait, could you get hurt doing that or? <laughs> and you can get hurt doing anything. I mean, yeah, but like, you're not going to like fall like another rock and then. Well, I hope not. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. sure that, I'm sure that's possible, but I'm sure that the places they have not set up, but the places people go aren't too dangerous. Or else okay, we... cool. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I was like, I'm the type of might slip. So. Yeah, I'm the type to slip too. I really am. As athletic as I am, I still do slip a lot. <laughs> I, you know, I might get to the very top, slip right there, and then boom. Uh, <laughs> but it sounds like you could try, which is Oh, yeah. I'll be, <laughs> I'll definitely be interested in doing that. I just want to make sure I'm like, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. Adventure. <laughs> Uh, what's a fun fact about you that people don't know? Um, I've moved 11 times in my life. Jesus. Like, like different states or like just in like different. I mean, I've lived in different states. I lived in Oregon and I've lived in Utah. Um, and I've lived all over LA. Um, but yeah, I, we just, live in a household I lived in a household that is very um likes to change their minds a lot <laughs> no, I feel you. how in Oregon I'm from Washington and I, I we used to go to Oregon sometimes for like basketball tournaments for, in high school and I did not like it you didn't I, like I, it no I thought like, well we didn't really get to go to like the scenery things like right. uh, hikes there's and really cool and parts of Oregon and there's really not cool parts of Oregon yeah we're Just, in the not cool parts of Oregon like we never yeah. got to do the hikes and waterfalls um, and, and none of that stuff but yeah that's the that's what we gotta go for yeah I <laughs> lived in a really sick place called Bend Oregon and um, yeah I've never been yeah 
You do. Yeah. yeah. It's like an adult playhouse there. It's like mountain bike trails and a river through the city and, you know, kayaking, paddleboard, a surf, like they made a surf wave into the river and there's snowboarding and skiing on the mountain and rock climbing at Smith Rocks 15 minutes away. And just like so fun if you're an outdoorsy person. Yeah, I feel like it would be fun outdoor. Like everything yeah. else, man. There's nothing to do. If we, yeah, are you like night a night owl or like party? We like to like. No, we just went for like we really just went there for a tournament. So we kind of like had to play da 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 at uh, basketball. And outside of basketball, we go to the hotels. But like when you go to the hotel, there's like nothing to do. We're exhausted. Probably there's too. nothing to do. Like in the city, there we used to go like Salem a lot. So there was nothing to do there. Yeah, Salem. <laughs> no hate. Salem, but I don't know. I I probably wouldn't have much to do in Salem either. Yeah, I think the funs we had in Oregon was we went to Portland and we got to go to see all the Nike stuff and. The cool oh, stuff. I bet young basketball players would love that. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, but outside of that, we didn't really get to do that. I was like, man, I want to go on like a hike and waterfalls, and they'd be like, no, we have a game in like an hour. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> love that. But I've seen some of my friends go and they do the hikes and waterfalls. Oh, that looks really nice. That's not the orchid we got to see, but they still do it, even though they're going. They're just doing it for a trip, though, not a basketball tournament. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they just do it for a trip. Like we're all oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's definitely something you should try. I would. I think you would really like, it, especially since you're adventurous. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, they say it's cool to go camping out there too. I, like, I want to do that. Oh, sick out there! I I would love to live in Oregon. I would really, really love living there. Nice, nice. Uh, do you have any hidden talents or hobbies outside of acting? Um, gosh, I feel like I do. I I do writing as well. I feel like I'm a really good writer. I told you that already, but I do a lot of outdoorsy things like rock climbing and snowboarding and skiing. And I have a stand up jet ski. And um, <laughs> I do. Oh, you do snowboarding and skiing? Yeah. Which your Which one's your favorite? Okay. I love snowboarding. Yeah, I, I grew up skiing, but then I put on snowboard boots, which were just so much more comfortable. <laughs> and then, like, also just, like, carving is, like, such a yeah. good feeling of just, like, shredding the mountain. Um, I just like it a lot better. No hate on skiing, though. I still love skiing. It's just... I No, always... hating the turns, like, the J turns, C turns, and all that is way different. It's I... so... It's <laughs> so... Fast. So you, you snowboard. Yeah, I, de I definitely do. Nice. that's my stuff like anytime you go? I go to mountains I definitely go like I remember we were just in Aspen and I was like do you got anywhere we could snowboard <laughs> so anytime Any I buy a mountain I just want to snowboard there's plenty of places you can snowboard in Aspen <laughs> that sounds so fun oh yeah so the, anytime I buy like a mountain I, I go snowboarding for sure oh that's amazing. Me the entire day and they're like are you not hungry out there like no I'm still snowboarding oh you're one of those people you're like no breaks I, I can literally be out there the entire day, like from like 9 a.m. to like when it's like sunset. <laughs> okay, I'm this I'm not the same. I love snowboarding, but I definitely need my little lunch by the fire and like I need my like little energy bites and I want to leave by three because I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I, I don't, no, it's like so addicting. It's just so fun. Like it's so addicting. It's so yeah. fun. Uh, except on ice, I hate snowboarding on ice. Yeah, even when you fall, it's like okay, cool. I'm gonna just get up and go. Yeah, you wear a helmet? No. How do you not wear a helmet? Why would you wear a helmet for? I just like, what if you fall on your head? I don't really think about that. <laughs> I know. That's uh, awesome. You're probably a great snowboarder. <laughs> no, like, I'm cool. Like, what I have to do now is, like, you know how people go up the, like, little ram things and do tricks? That's, like, what I have to work on. But I, I would wear a helmet for that. But just going okay. down the mountain, that's just easy. Like, doing the turns and everything, that's... That's good. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen Maybe you ask me to do some tricks and stuff? Yeah, that's where you lose me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to do little jumps and stuff, so... Yeah, I could do that. Now, the ones they be going, like, <laughs> shoo, doing the circle. Yeah, I'm not doing that. One day. <laughs> We'll make it one day. I definitely would have. I would definitely would wear a helmet for that, though. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I love snowboarding. That's like one of my favorite things to do. Oh, I love that. That's. Uh, good. What's your go-to comfort food? Hamburger and fries. Okay. Like an In-N-Out. I'm gluten-free, so I have to get a protein style. But I just love well-done French fries and a burger. Like, if I'm like, I'm on a bad day. 
I just go to in and out and eat burger. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. If you can have dinner with any celebrity, who would it be and why? Lana Del Rey. Ooh. I love her so much. Like, ever since I was, I don't remember, maybe like 14, 15, I started listening to Lizzie Grant, who she, like, that's her, like, stage name before um, Lana Del Rey. And... Oh, you're a day one fan. Oh, I'm a I'm day one. Like I listen to I know every single song by heart, including her unreleased songs. Like, and I'm not one to get crazy over celebrities. I live in LA, <clears throat> born in LA. But Lana Del Rey has like an aura that is just insane. She tells these amazing stories with each of her songs. She's just beautiful and cinematic and like actually moves me, which I don't find with a lot of music these days I mean obviously there's so much music there's some that do but she just gets me like and I just think she's so dope and she has such a cool like character and aura and I would I would love to go to dinner with her so where's like your top five Lana Dora songs Number you have one, to be in order five. you just have to name like five songs right <laughs> okay because that song just gets me. Brooklyn Baby, Florida Kilos, mm, National Anthem, but her demo, because the demo has an electric guitar. And I'm like, yeah, I like America, Ooh, electric guitar. I don't know. And I would say, mm, so many good ones. I don't know what to pick. Cola? Cola is a Cola is a very controversial song, um, but I just love it. It just paints a picture. I love a story that tells, or I love a, I love a song that tells a story. And like I feel like Lana Del Rey is really good at setting the mood. Like I said, when I listen to music, I create like stories in my head, and that's what I love about Lana Del Rey. It's just like clear, you know. Uh, have you met her yet? I've seen her at a Starbucks in Malibu. And I'm like, oh, I was young. I was young. I'm like, oh, oh my God. And I'm like, dad, I was with my dad. He's like, he was like rolling down the window when I was hiding. I'm like, no, 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 no. Because I, I hate like pestering people, like when they're just enjoying their day. I'm like, please no. And she's like, just say hi, Savannah. Just say hi. And I couldn't get myself to do it. I cried, actually. I was so happy. I oh, your dad's like, better than me. What I'm, he's like, I'm, your dad's better than me. I'm terrible with my friends. They'd be like, oh, I, want, I see you. Such a, I'm like, hey, oh, I want to take a picture with you. <laughs> Come to my podcast. Come to my podcast. I said, hey, can you take this picture with my friend? I get the phone already. <laughs> They're like, wait, I did not. I did not want you to. But no, I was like, yeah, you, gotta get this. you might never see them again. That's, mm -hmm, it's very yeah. true and i was like if they're eating okay cool but if they're not if they're just in public or like at a gas station or whatever i yeah. like, I'll take a picture for you you know what i'm saying if they're not with their families or anything i won't bother you but if yeah you're, if you're just out in public if i see you at walmart i'm like you probably you know what i'm saying you probably would have left the house if you didn't want and you're i like, should have freaking done it man i'm so annoyed uh i love her so much it's actually insane. Well, I hope, hopefully you get to meet her one day. Hopefully she gets to do like a soundtrack to one of your projects. Oh, if she did the English teacher, English teacher X Lana Del Rey. Gosh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, pitch that. <laughs> I'm dead. You don't need to know why. Just to be like, I think we should just have Lana Del Rey. at least do one song. <laughs> I'm going to throw this in there. You, you can decide if that's what you want, but I'm just going to. Can we get her for a guest appearance for one reason? This is a guest appearance? I know, literally. I'm sure, honestly, English teacher has the most random guest appearances that I wouldn't be surprised if Lana Del Rey was just, like, there one day. I feel like she would do it. She'd be at, like, the most random places, so I feel like yes. she would do it. I wouldn't she, be surprised oh, if I saw an English teacher. Like, She'd be all mysterious, like, yeah. in our little high school. <laughs> <laughs> I could see her definitely doing it. Yeah. I've seen pictures of when people taking up, like, why is she there? <laughs> like she was at like a waffle house and she was like in an apron at waffle house. I'm like, what are you doing i love you i love waffle house waffle house x lana del rey like name a better collab 
There's nothing better than that. Yeah, but that's it. People just be seeing her at the most random spots. Oh, she really lived her life. She don't really care. I like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I love her. Oh, <laughs> my last question for you today is, um, if you weren't in the entertainment industry, what do you think you'd be doing? Hmm. That's just not a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably be like doing something outdoors. I can see that. I can I'm see probably like probably a doing... instructor or something. Yeah, but I also do love money a lot. So I'd want to make a lot of money. Hmm. Real estate, cabins and stuff? Maybe not real estate though, because I don't know. I'm just not a business person. You know what? I would. I'm just gonna say I'd be a lifeguard. There. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everybody awesome. goes. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I'm not a big business person. Even though I'd love to like be a business. My boyfriend is the business person. Like I told him, like I'm gonna make enough money. I'm just gonna hand all the money to you, and you invest my stuff, and <laughs> that'll be your job. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. I like that. Good game plan. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's nice funny. talking to you i appreciate you coming on i can't wait to watch the show yeah thank you <laughs> so much so fun. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> nice talking to you see you hopefully we can do this for season two <laughs> yes i would love that it's so nice meeting you nice meeting you too bye <laughs>